from Barrister and Man Seville Shaving Soap. We also have the Aftershave Splash, both of those courtesy of viewer Mike H. And we also have the Aftershave Balm. It's super moisturizing, and that came courtesy of viewer Mark Bagwell. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Really do appreciate it. We're going to have a shave with all of them, and that's coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. I have got two days worth of beard growth here. And I am really looking forward to this shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den, courtesy of your Mike H., he uh, sent along the uh, shave soap and the aftershave splash, and a viewer, Mark Badwell, very, very generously sent along the aftershave balm, which is absolutely tremendous. It is absolutely beautiful, super moisturizing. Before we get to all that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos, and also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, I am really excited for this shave, because it's a shave with Barrister and Man. Uh, Seville shaving soap right here. I've got the aftershave splash, as I said, from uh, viewer Mike H. And here is the aftershave balm, courtesy of viewer Mark Bagwell. My gosh, so I've got the trifecta, the shaving soap, the uh, aftershave splash, and now the aftershave balm. And this scent is absolutely wonderful. I gotta tell you, it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. I'm just saying those bottles there. And get them out of the way so they don't fall off the counter. Here, I'm just going to open this up. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. I'm going to put some hot water on this puck. And as you can see, I've already taken it for a test drive. It's absolutely wonderful. Hang on one minute. Let me just get some hot water on top of that. Okay. Just going to set that aside and let that kind of... Uh, Get things going a little bit. It's an absolutely beautiful scent. Here is the uh, Barrister and Man website where they have information regarding Seville. And here's what they have to say about it. So give you an idea of what the scent is like. Everyone has a different idea of what a barbershop ought to smell like. But we tend to lean historically for this kind of stuff. Giovanni Maria Fatina famously created the very first Eau de Cologne in the early 1700s. And it was an instant success. His formula was prized by the royal counts and was so highly regarded that it's still in production today. As a result of this popularity, Eau de Cologne fragrances have been staples in European barber shops for well over a hundred years. While we don't claim to be as gifted as Signor Farina, uh, our Seville scent is definitely in a class all its own. Affectionately dubbed God's Barbershop by some of uh, our more poetic customers, Seville is a blend of lemon, bergamot, rosemary, lavender, patchouli, and oak moss. The name comes from the famous opera, The Barber of Seville, but the scent is at home anywhere. Give it a try. You won't be disappointed. Now, uh, did I say Fatina or Farina? It's Farina. Giovanni Maria Farina. I'm sorry, I thought it said Fatina. Giovanni Maria Farina. All right. So that's a little bit of the history on uh, the scent, how this was inspired by that history. And uh, it does have that barbershop kind of quality. Although, if, if, if you recall, in Monday Morning Mailbag and some of my other video reviews, when I talk about barbershop scent, I talk about that scent that's most familiar to you in your region of the world. Uh, we all have an idea of what the barbershop scent should be, and there is kind of a kind of a common barbershop kind of scent out there, and then there are these varieties and variations. This is one of those variations. It is an absolutely splendid, splendid scent. And yes, I think it can be uh, described as a barbershop scent, albeit something uh, that you may you may sample in Europe. Uh, we'll, we'll call it a European barbershop scent. Absolutely. So let me get this out of the way. 
and we are going to build a uh, going to build a lather. We're going to have a shave. I'm going to use my Simpson M7 shaving brush with the butterscotch handle. Thanks, mom. Courtesy of your Jimmy V. It does an absolutely wonderful job building the lather. It is designed for bowl lathering, and we're also going to be using the Paul Gruner lathering bowl. Thanks again, Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to kick it all off with a hot towel. I got to have a hot towel. I've been doing some cold water shaves. It's gotten a little cooler. I got two days worth of beard growth. I need a hot towel. My thanks to Jamie Horn for the hot towel cabinet because it's absolutely splendid. I highly recommend it. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, we're also going to be using my timeless razor. Uh, this is the stainless steel razor with the uh, open comb base plate and the 0.68 blade gap. We're using the open comb because we've got two days worth of beard growth, and I think that will definitely, definitely help the shave. I already have a razor blade installed. The alignment and uh, balance are spot on, and I'm using an uh, A-Best razor blade. It's already installed. We're already set to go. So we've got that going. And yeah, a blade alignment and everything is spot on. So looking forward to that. And of course, we're going to finish it off with an Allen block from Phoenix Shaving. And uh, the aftershave, the Seville aftershave right here. And also the balm. Really looking forward to using both of these as well. So that's kind of got a lay of the land. You know what? I want to put a little bit of water on my face. I want to put a hot towel on there and kind of get things going. And then uh, we'll, we're will we not going to do any pre-shave. We're going to go ahead and we're going to build a lather right after I do that hot towel. The hot towel will allow everything to kind of get going. And uh, we're going to build a lather and we're going to have a shave. So let me just wet the face and we'll get going with the hot towel. I know, something I just like to do, I just like to prepare the my face with a little bit of water for the hot towel. Oh man, oh man, look at that. That's oh that is hot. Wow. Wow wow wow. Oh, wow that's hot. Man, ooh. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. See you in a minute. Oh, that's that's marvelous. That that's a great way to kick off a warm water shave. No doubt about it. I'm just going to kind of fold this up and set it on the counter. And I'll use that to uh, dry off my hands. Here is the hot water that's been in the Paul Gruner lathering bowl. We're going to dump that out. We're also going to dump out, get all that water out of there. Okay. We're going to dump out the water from the um, Seville shave soap, right like that. And here is my brush right here. We're going to do a brush load. And... Uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Let's see what we get here with this brush line. Oh, really looking forward to this shave. Really, really looking forward to this shave. Okay. Oh, man. I think that's... Um, wow, that really did kind of get kind of creamy in there rather quickly. My goodness, look at that. That's really did... That really did... That <laughs> really did get really very good and creamy there. My gosh. All right. Got a couple of drops of water in the bottom of the bowl. And we're going to go ahead and uh, build this ladder. This little brush really packs a punch. It really is something. And you can already see that it's starting to starting to build a lather. I'm going to need a little bit of water, it looks like. Just a little bit. Okay, just a drop. The scent is marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. My gosh, that is really, really coming along. Little more water, okay, a little more water. You know, I didn't do much of a brush load there, and look how much lather I'm getting already. Look at this. I think Mark Bagwell said that Mantic 59 regards this as one of the better lathering soaps out there and it really is very very good wow look at that my gosh you know what i could just i could just give it a little more water and just just a little more 
Oh, I think that's got it. I, I think that has it. My gosh. Can you see that? Wow. I mean, look, okay, look at that. Look at that. Boom, ladder. Wow. Look at those peaks. My gosh, that is a really, really nice, creamy, yogurty lather. Oh my gosh. All right, let me set this down. Let me, uh, let me splash a little water on my face and we'll paint this lather on and we'll get to the shave. Yeah, a little bit of water I think will help based on what I see here with this lather. Oh yeah. You look at that, I got two days worth of beard growth. And I think this is gonna give me some nice, nice coverage. Oh yeah, look at that. This brush, this Simpson, Simpson M7 brush is wonderful. It really, it really is remarkable in that it just, it's able to concentrate it's, uh, well, how do I say it? The force of the brush, the, 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 the hairs of the brush are more concentrated. They're more, they're more, uh, uh, compact and concentrated. And that really aids in, and, and whipping up that, that soap into a beautiful, beautiful light. Look at that. And look how much coverage I got here. This is a really nice, rich, creamy, Thick, cushiony lather. Oh my gosh. That is, <laughs> that's marvelous. A lot of viewers have talked very, very highly of Barrister and Man. I can understand why. My, my goodness. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I got plenty here in the bowl. I got more than enough. For a second and third pass, no doubt about it. This brush, this brush is amazing. It really, really is. Don't let its diminutive size fool you. It really packs a punch. All right, here's my uh, my razor, timeless razor, the stainless steel razor, open comb base plate, 0.68 blade gap, smooth cap, uh, barber pole handle. Hey, barber of Seville, barber pole handle. How about that? Uh, yeah, uh, polished stainless steel. We're gonna heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. I didn't think, I didn't know I was doing that. Barber of Seville, barber pole handle. <laughs> That's great. All right, we're heating this up under some hot, 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 hot water. We got my A best razor blade already installed. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. I'll tell you, there's a lot of protection there. There is an absolute, absolutely marvelous cushion. Really, really good, good protection, good cushion. Boy, that's, that's great. That really is terrific. A lot of nice glide and slickness, but the cushion and the protection are very, very good. Great residual slickness there to allow me to do that on a chin. Wow. Wow. Two days worth of beard growth is what we're knocking down here on pass number one.
Again, that residual slickness, that residual slickness really comes into play. That's terrific. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. I really wanted to clean the face off to kind of really get an idea of where I'm at here. Yeah, I am. I am approaching right on the cusp, if not in the start of socially acceptable shave territory. Yeah, I think I'm right in there. I think I am right in there. I'm not in there solid, but I'm in there just at the beginning of it. Really, really terrific. I could run out the door if I had to. Uh, you'd want it to be a little bit better after the first pass, but again, two days worth of beard growth. So that's kind of where we're at. All right, here we go. We're going to ladder up for pass number two. And in just talking to you, you can see how, you know, you can see how nice and stable the ladder remains on the face. It doesn't break down. It doesn't dissipate. It stays nice and creamy and yogurty. Oh my gosh. This brush, by the way, really is terrific. It really helps you direct that ladder wherever you want it. It really is terrific. You know, you want a little more on the upper lip. You know, there it is right there. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, this really is a marvelous shave soap. Really, really marvelous. My gosh. How lucky are we to have such great artisans out there providing us with these great, great shaving soaps. And, you know, everyone has their favorite. And, I, you know, the, the, the longer I do the traditional wet shave, um, and through the very, very kind recommendations of viewers, the more I discover some really, really talented artisans out there. Wow, Barrister and Man, very, very good. Ah, man, oh man, oh man. All right, here we go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. This is usually my money pass, meaning my shave could be completed after this pass. Now, with a razor with a, an open comb and a 0.68 blade gap, which is mild, yet it's really very, very efficient. And um, a good blade like the A-Best blade and a nice, really good protective ladder. Uh, the shave could be done potentially after two passes, even though I have two days worth of beard growth. It could. Might be two passes for this shave. Might be two passes and a touch-up. Might be three passes. We'll find out. Now, I'm just doing a little bit of talking to you right now because, again, I want to show you how nice and stable the lather remains on my face. It hasn't broken down. It hasn't dissipated in any way. It's remained nice and creamy and protective. Really, really terrific. All right, now let's go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, terrific. Again, some really nice residual slickness at play. Wow. That is really, really wonderful. Again, uh, the residual slickness, I'm just going over the same area. Ordinarily, when you do the traditional wet shave, and if you're just starting out, you want to shave an area, and once the lather is removed, move on to the next area that's covered with lather. You don't want to shave over the same area repeatedly if uh, you've already removed the lather. However, 
the more you do this shave, the more you do the traditional wet shave with the safety razor, the more you'll understand that there is some residual slickness there from some really, really top shelf uh, shave soaps uh, that create these really, really wonderful lathers. And Barrister and Man is definitely one of those. That you know, really, there is some residual slickness and some additional glide and protection that is there that allows you to do that. Now, you know, be careful, but I'm just showing you that the residual slickness is, is there and it it's really works quite well. It, it's, it's, there's, a, there's a big advantage to this shaving soap and it's lather, that residual slickness. Marvelous, marvelous. Again, residual slickness, <laughs> fantastic. All right, second pass done. Let's see where we're at. Well, you know what? I can call the shave done. I can do a little bit of touch up. Either way, it's a coin flip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a third pass here just to show you how much lather I have from that brush load. That way it'll give you an idea of how easy it is to build a lather with this Barrister and Man Shave Soap and how quickly you can build a lather and how little soap you really need to get a really fine, uh, wonderful, creamy, cushiony, yogurty, protective lather. And look, look, I mean, I still have more in here. I can just kind of gather this up here. And look how much more I have here. I mean, I've got so much more in this bowl that it's just, it's phenomenal. But you know what? This is all I'm going to need because I'm going to do a light third pass and, you know, just get a little more along the jawline and, uh, you know, just a little bit here and there. But I am going to do a complete third pass because... Um, I love doing a third pass. <laughs> I love going against the grain south and north. I love holding the razor this way. I love the, the, the motion and the movement of the razor on the face. I, I, it's, it's a favorite, favorite uh, pass for me whenever I do the traditional wet shave. And if I have an opportunity to do so, I'm going to do it. All right. So uh, here we go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Oh, that's marvelous. Yeah, I'm picking up a little bit here and there, you know, that I would have picked up in a touch-up. Very, very smooth. Wonderful protection. But as I've explained, this timeless stainless steel open comb razor is the smoothest open comb razor I've ever used. It is wonderfully, wonderfully smooth. So that comes into play here as well. However, the Barrister Man Shave Soap, my gosh, this is, this is a great protective lather. It's wonderful. Love, love, love the cushion and the coverage. Oh yeah, that's got it. That has got it. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, this is BBS. <laughs> wow. 
What a great shame. You know, and there is this wonderful contrast between having two days worth of beard growth and then all of a sudden have a cleanly shaved face. And it's a marvelous feeling. And I say this all the time with all these wonderful artisans out there that are making these these beautifully, beautifully machined, CNC machined, precisely machined razors like the folks at Timeless Razor, and these absolutely talented artisans who are making these wonderful shave soaps like Seville, Seville Shave Soap from Barrister and Man. If you're not doing the traditional wet shave, what are you waiting for? Best way to shave, and there are, there's so much great stuff out there that will just give you a fantastic shave. Okay, let's rinse, let's wrap this shave up. Here's my warm water rinse. Yeah, I had to do a good amount of rinsing there. Boy, that's a great shave. This is marvelous, 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 marvelous. All right, here's my cold water rinse. Okay, just waiting for it to go cold water, okay? Yeah, okay, cold water rinse. Oh, that's great. That's marvelous. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, oh boy, is that great. Boy, that's great. That's an absolutely marvelous, marvelous shave. That's BBS, and my gosh, what a great, what a great look. There's a really nice glow. <coughs> Pardon me, there's a really nice glow from this, this, the shaving soap, this lather. Absolutely fantastic. I can already see right now, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. The post shave feel is wonderful. I can run out the door if I wanted to. But uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's uh, use the Allen block here. I'm going to send her some cold water. Here's the Phoenix Shaving Allen block with the no slip grip with a dry dock system. Hang on one minute. Uh. <coughs> uh. Had a little fog in my throat. All right. The uh, Phoenix Shaving uh, Animal Block, no slip grip, dry dock system. We're going to rest under some cold, cold water here. All right, here we go. Boy, that is nice and smooth. There is some zinging here and there, but nothing really substantial. But it's telling me I got a really nice, close, comfortable shave. It's also telling me that the shave was done after two after two passes. No doubt about it. But there is some zinging there, no doubt about it. No stinging. You know, no real harsh, harsh stinging. Nice bracing, but yeah, some some zinging there, but that but it's a good zinging. It's not it's not a lingering zing. Uh, it's not a lingering zingering. <laughs> it's not a lingering zing. It's just kind of there and gone. So uh, there's a dry dock system. Here is my Allen block. I'm going to set that in there like that. Let me show you the uh, shave soap here. Let's take a look at this brush here and show you, show you the shave soap, the lather from the shave soap. Check that out. Look at that, huh? Absolutely marvelous. Look at that. Just a rich, creamy, beautiful lather. Absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. I'm going to have to get a glass of water after this. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, use this aftershave splash. This is a marvelous, marvelous aftershave splash. Beautiful scent. My gosh. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, it's coming out clear. All right, it's not, it's not milky, it's clear. That's nice. It feels like it has some moisturizing qualities to it. I'll have to check the ingredients to find out exactly what's in there. But it really does feel very, very nice on the skin. Really, really terrific. But this one is really extra special. This is the Seville, Barrister Man Seville Balm right there. Boy, this is a good one. Let me tell you. And that's all I'm going to need right there. Just one pump because this has some beautiful, beautiful moisturizing qualities. And I am going to have to have a head shave here in the next day or so, but I'm going to use this because, my gosh, that's beautiful. Boy, that's a, boy, even that much was probably a little too much. I'm going to carry it down here. My gosh, that is, the moisturizing quality is really, really up there. It's off the scale. I would say that if you've had a shave that may give you a little bit of irritation, yeah, try this balm. My gosh, is it, it feels wonderful. And it has the great Seville scent. It's absorbing nicely, but it has really nice moisturizing quality. Wow, you can even use it on your hands. Perfect for the winter when we're in dry skin weather. Uh, boy, you know what? You'll put some on your head, on your face. Well, on your face if you don't if you don't have a bald head like me. You know what I mean. And then just take that remnant there, that little bit of residual, and just rub that on your hands, and you're done. Great, great shave. Wow, wonderful scent, beautiful lather, excellent cushion, beautiful glideness, just absolute glideness, beautiful glide. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful, wonderful shade. The balm has some fantastic, fantastic moisturizing qualities to it. The aftershave has that same wonderful scent that the shave soap has. It's a beautiful Let's call it a European barbershop kind of scent. It's absolutely marvelous. My thanks to viewers Mike H. and Mark Bagwell for helping make this shave possible. My thanks to the folks at Timeless Razor for sending along the beautiful stainless steel Timeless Razor with the open comb 0.68 blade gap and the barber pole handle and the uh, barber of Seville from Barrister and Man. Well, actually Seville, but it's... Barbara of Seville comes to mind. This is really, really terrific. A terrific scent and an absolutely wonderful, exquisite, top shelf shave soap that makes a wonderful, wonderful lather. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marksr80 where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Let me get my uh, balm over here. Hey, thanks again for tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.